This is the Lexus NX. It's a compact luxury SUV originally introduced for the 2015 model year. And even though it's quite ready for an update, Lexus still sells a ton of them. In fact, a new NX is coming for 2022, but this is the one we have now. Is it worth considering? If you adore Lexus's excellent resale values and reliable reputation, then yes. That badge on the front does wonders for owner confidence. The general layout of the interior also has its pluses. The cargo space is decent for the NX's size. Material quality is good. I personally fit well enough in the back, though it's a little bit cozy for our six foot four inch videographer, Mike Danger. And like I say about nearly every Lexus and Toyota vehicle, the seats are blissfully free of pressure points. No pressure. Space-wise, the cabin is perfectly workable, but there are also some shortcomings. For me, one of the biggest is the dash design. By putting the controls on a horizontal rather than vertical plane, the text and indicator lights get washed out in direct sunlight. I literally can't tell if the seat heater is activated without making a shadow with my hand. Another common NX complaint is the infotainment system. There's a standard 8-inch screen or an optional 10.3-inch screen like in our tester here, controlled by Lexus's Remote Touch Interface Control Pad. Using a touchscreen would be much easier and less distracting while driving than using this pad to move a cursor around. Uh -huh. And scene. You're welcome to disagree with my assessment, but early indications are that Lexus will be moving to a touchscreen for the next NX. So hey, maybe I'm onto something. Attentive Lexus fans might have noticed that I'm driving an NX Hybrid F Sport Blackline Special Edition, of which Lexus will only build 1,000. In addition to a very, very long name, the Blackline Special Edition comes with unique wheels and color choices, special blue stitching, and if you actually buy one, fancy travel cases that sadly weren't included with my press loan. Oh, life sure is hard for car reviewers. For now, the Blackline Special is the only way to get the F Sport suspension and styling on a hybrid. My voice did a weird thing there. But no, we're using that take, Mike. We're using that take. <laughs> For comparison's sake, here's what a non-F Sport looks like. Moving on, let's talk engines. The standard NX300 gets its thrust from a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine married to a six-speed automatic transmission and either front or, if you can spare an extra 1400 bucks, all-wheel drive. The NX300H Hybrid comes exclusively with all-wheel drive, blending the output of a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated engine and two electric motors to deliver a combined 194 horsepower. No surprise, the Hybrid is the more efficient choice. For fun, let's see how the Hybrid pulls from a stop. Uh-huh, yeah, engine kicking in, electric power. All right, I judge you acceptable, Lexus NX. Equally important to me is how the NX stops, especially because it's a hybrid. Ooh, hybrid brakes. Feels a little unnatural. Can I come to a, nope. Not the smoothest stop. That's going on your permanent record. Hybrid brakes aside, the NX drives well. It's quiet while cruising. The steering feels confident, if not outright thrilling. And the ride is smooth enough for most tastes. Though for maximum comfort, skip the more stiffly tuned F-Sport suspension. One note, thick pillars somewhat hinder over the shoulder visibility, but standard blind spot warning helps manage that challenge. Other standard features found on a base $37,500 NX300 include dual zone climate control, a 10-way power driver's seat, smart key access, and a healthy array of active safety tech. Comprising that array are forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection, full speed adaptive cruise control, and lane keeping assist. Let's see how it works. It assisted me. Good job. For a fancier NX experience, higher trims offer upgrades like a power lift gate, ventilated leather front seats, and a 14 speaker 835 watt premium audio system. Other premium compact SUVs competing for your attention include the Acura RDX, Volvo XC60, and the upcoming Genesis GV70, which I think looks super cool. There are also pricier but more elite contenders like the BMW X3, Audi Q5, and Mercedes-Benz GLC. Among that set, you can find newer, more powerful, and more luxurious options. 
Though late in its life cycle, the current gen NX still embodies Lexus values as a comfortable and reliable compact SUV. If you like what it offers and you can get one for a good price, the 2021 Lexus NX might be a good fit for you. But as a fan of touchscreens, I'd probably wait for the 2022.